Hey guys. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Today I will tell you. Facts about, Oriental Pearl Tower, located in, Shanghai, China. So move toward my today's video. The Oriental Pearl Tower, is a landmark, and tourist attraction, located in, the Pudong District of Shanghai, China. It is a broadcasting tower, that was completed in 1994. And it stands at a height of, 468 meters, or 1535 feet. Making it one of the tallest towers, in Asia, and the world. The tower was designed by, the Shanghai Modern Architectural Design Company Limited. The design team was led by, Zhang Huan Chen. The construction of the Oriental Pearl Tower, was a major project for Shanghai. The tower stands, 468 meters tall, and consists of 11 spheres. Including, three large spheres, that are known as the upper spheres, and five smaller spheres, that are known as the lower spheres. The tower was built using, more than 1,000 construction workers, and engineers. The Oriental Pearl Tower, is made of reinforced concrete, and steel. The concrete was used for, the tower's foundation. While steel was used for, the tower's framework, and outer cladding. The tower's outer appearance, is characterized by 11 spheres, with the two largest spheres, located at the base, and the top of the tower. The spheres are made of fiberglass, and reinforced plastic. While the tower's lighting system, is made of LED lights. The use of steel, and reinforced concrete, allow the tower to withstand, strong winds and earthquakes. Which are common occurrences, in the region. The exact quantity of fiberglass, used in the Oriental Pearl Tower, is not publicly available. But it is known that, the tower's outer shell, is made of three layers of fiberglass reinforced plastics, with a total thickness of, 7 millimeters. The fiberglass reinforced plastics panels, were produced by the Jushi Group, a Chinese fiberglass manufacturer. The use of fiberglass, in the tower's construction, provides several advantages, such as lightweight, resistance to corrosion and weathering, and ease of fabrication. The sizes of the spheres are, the largest sphere, located at the base of the tower, has a diameter of 50 meters, or 164 feet. The second sphere, has a diameter of 45 meters, or 148 feet. The third sphere, has a diameter of 40 meters, or 131 feet. The fourth sphere, has a diameter of 35 meters, or 115 feet. The fifth sphere, has a diameter of 30 meters, or 98 feet. The sixth sphere, has a diameter of 25 meters, or 82 feet. The seventh sphere, has a diameter of 22 meters, or 72 feet. The eighth sphere, has a diameter of 18 meters, or 59 feet. The ninth sphere, has a diameter of 14 meters, or 46 feet. The tenth sphere, has a diameter of 9 meters, or 30 feet. The smallest sphere, located at the very top of the tower, has a diameter of 7 meters, or 23 feet. These spheres, are adorned with a total of, 11,000 LED lights which are used for decorative, and lighting purposes. However, the exact quantity, of LED lights used in the tower, is not readily available. The tower's foundation, consists of a 9 meter thick concrete slab, weighing more than 15,000 tons. And 1,062 piles, with each pile having a diameter of, 1.2 meters, and a depth of 94 meters. And a total of, 120,000 cubic meters of earth, and rock were excavated, during the construction of the foundation. The tower's shaft, is made of reinforced concrete, and has a diameter, that ranges from 50 meters at the base, to 14 meters at the top. Additionally, the tower's upper spire, is made of lightweight concrete, and steel. The tower is made up of, 20,000 tons of steel, in its construction. The main supporting column of the tower, is made of steel, and is 9 meters in diameter. Additionally, the tower's spire is made of steel, which also supports the tower's antennas. The construction of the tower, was divided into two phases. The first phase involved, the construction of the tower's foundation, which was completed in, 1992. The foundation consists of, a 15 meter deep reinforced concrete base, that measures 46 meters in diameter. The second phase of construction involved, the construction of, the tower's steel structure. The steel structure was built, using a technique called bundling. This technique involves, bundling the steel together, and then lifting it into place using a crane. The tower steel structure, was completed in 1993. After the steel structure was completed, 
the tower's 11 spheres, were installed. The spheres, were constructed off-site, and then transported to the tower, using barges. The installation of the spheres, was completed in 1994. The tower's design, is said to be inspired by, a verse from a Tang Dynasty poem, which describes a beautiful pearl shining, on a jade plate. The tower's name, also reflects this inspiration, as the Oriental Pearl, is a traditional Chinese symbol of good luck, and prosperity. The tower is equipped with, a total of 11 transmitting antennas, which provide coverage, for the entire Shanghai area. The tower has, several other attractions, including, a museum, a virtual reality roller coaster, and a glass floor observation deck, that is 259 meters, or 850 feet, above the ground. The tower also serves as, a broadcasting hub, and it is home to, several television and radio stations. Since its completion, the Oriental Pearl Tower, has become a popular tourist destination, in Shanghai. Attracting millions of visitors, each year. It has also become an iconic symbol of Shanghai, and a symbol of China's economic growth, and development. If this video is helpful for you. Then, like and share my video. And subscribe my YouTube channel.